Hello folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews, and what a great week it's been. Uh, so if you're getting this review, I am at Turks and Caicos right now. Yes, I'm sitting up on the beach doing whatever I can, soaking in the suns while everyone else is, you know, being it's cold and miserable. <laughs> I try to upload whenever I can while I'm on vacation. Yes, I'll still try to do that. The latest TV show that I'm going to be reviewing here is a TV show called Chance, and this is based on a book by Kem Nunn. And this TV show is produced by Kem Nunn, and he also writes several of the episodes in this TV show that's on Hulu. I think all the episodes were put online at the same time, although I think each Hulu did episode by episode. So Elton Chance, played by Hugh Laurie, is a San Francisco neuropsychiatrist. Yes, Hugh Laurie is back on television, folks. Yay! So one of the dice that he uses is a voiceover to report patients who have had traumatic brain injuries or some other neurological conditions. And unfortunately, a lot of these outcomes, like most of his patients, this results in suicide all the way up to bureaucratic red tape here. Clearly, he can't fix any of these patients here, nor can he fix his marriage, and the fact that he can't pay for his daughter's private school. Now, as fast as you can say, Raymond Chandler, he is drawn to the case of Jacqueline Blackstone, played by Gretchen Mall. She has the unfortunate nature of being married to a policeman who is abusive towards her, and she has a wide variety of ailments, including the fact that she has an alternate personality. Uh, doc, the, the, good, now, the good doctor here believes that some people are more borderline than not really multiple personality. As he tries to treat her, the husband and him have repeated run-ins, and they become less and less pleasant, obviously, and, he, and her husband tries repeatedly, in very, not so very great ways, to make sure that he clearly does not get anywhere near her. We also get a bunch of subplots galore, one involving Clark Peters as a antique stealer and his somewhat shady business. We also get to meet Darius, or D, played by Ethan Supley. You all remember him from Remember the Titans, My Name is Earl, Boy Meets World, um, who, again, he had a really crappy childhood and he has a neurological condition or his brain is screwed up and his father is out looking for him. He ran away from home a long time ago. He also has to deal with his daughter, Nicole, played by Stephanie LaBay Owen, who, you know, we all remember her from the Carrie Diaries and a couple other TV shows, who's going through some mental problems herself, although basically she is a typical teenager. He, he thinks it could be genetic because he went through some problems when he was in his 20s, and this resulted in being, in, com being committed as well. But the main storyline here is that of obviously Jacqueline Blackstone, and he finds himself just drawn to her for some bizarre reason. Again, we we slowly begin to understand her, what she has gone through in her life, the fact that she really had a crappy childhood. First thing, in the world of peak TV, it's clearly, you know, you have to figure out to yourself what do you want to watch, what to skip, what TV shows fly under the radar, and what TV shows that, you know, get overexposed. I think the TV show Chance really does fall under the radar here. Um, I have not read this book and I try to read basically mo almost everything. Here's the one thing I would like to say. I think the cast is uniformly good. I think it's nice to see Hugh Laurie back on TV. This, and we get to learn about the inner belly of San Francisco, which, you know, again, people think, oh, all these, you know, majestic houses or some, you know, tro trolling up the steep hill of San Francisco, but yes, there's another really to San Francisco that largely a lot of people really don't know about the homeless population being one of them. Now, if, now here's the problem. If, if Hugh Laurie's other character, Dr. House, were to show up, and they were to, these two characters were, have a, were to have a conversation, even Dr. House would be saying, what, why the heck are you in this situation to begin with? It's Maybe the Chance novel will clearly explain a whole bunch of stuff in such a way that makes you feel like, yes, this is absolutely riveting. This is absolutely fascinating. But my, I guess my main issue is why? It's like, why would the Hugh Laurie character fall for this woman? I don't know. Or it's like, why is, you know, again, there's a whole bunch of why questions I would love to be answered. Whatever the lingering questions I have, might they be answered in season two? I don't really know. We're also introduced to another cop who gets on the bad side of Mr. Blackstone and the interaction between him at the end of the season is somewhat fascinating. Could that be season two? I don't know. Like, one of the directors here is Lenny Abramson, who did The Room, and that was absolutely fascinating as well. So again, 
he has some great directors here. I just saw, so, folks, that you watch Chance, that you happen to like it, you happen to care for it at all. It's currently out on Hulu and some other websites that you can watch TV shows online. I will be uploading anytime I can. I'll be definitely doing a movie for you when I get back. See you, folks. As, al as always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and reach yourself of knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks.